Cayetano Chiras. This is Miss Raber, your art teacher. Uh, this week, you only have one assignment in your art sketchbook. You don't need to do the final project. That won't be until next week. Okay, so I'm going to give you two weeks to work on this assignment. Your sketchbook is a huge part of art, and I wanted to talk to you about that. You can find this handout. Um, it's been there the whole time. It's on the easel on the first page of the virtual Google Classroom. Okay, so when you click on here, you're welcome to look at it. Otherwise, just listen. The first part is you can use your sketchbook to learn new things. So if I teach you about a new artist or a new way of doing something, you can take notes in your sketchbook about what you're learning. Another way to use your sketchbook is to experiment, to practice with new materials, to play around and see what, what happens when you try different things. Another way to use your sketchbook is to plan, to plan what you're going to do. You can, uh, after you finish planning, then you'll you create your piece. Usually you don't do that in your sketchbook. You do that on a separate paper. And then you can go back to your sketchbook and reflect about what you learned. And the last part is to share your work with your friends, with your teacher, with your family, okay? So this week, you're gonna be working on two parts. You're going to experiment, making Zentangles, and you're gonna plan what your final piece is gonna look like for next week. This week, you're only gonna be working in your sketchbook. At the top of your sketchbook, please write design ideas, and then separate the sketchbook into different squares so that you can practice a variety of different lines. I would say you should probably try at least four or five different designs at the very least, okay? I've chosen to do 12. So the idea is um, to think of different designs that you would like. You're welcome to use the examples that I gave you that are Zentangle pages, which you can find in the virtual Bitmoji classroom. You can use designs that come from different cultures. These ones come from, um, these are Aztec designs that I drew. Um, maybe there's a culture that is meaningful to you that you would like to include on your uh, Zentangles. And so then basically what you're going to do is just take your time and draw out your different designs so that you could decide which ones you like the most. And then if you see empty spaces, you can fill them with something. So it's kind of up to you. These kind of look like numbers. Okay, and then once you've completed your designs, you'll know which ones you're going to want to include in your art project next week. Okay, I just wanted to show you a few different examples of Zentangles. So here's a Zentangle that's in the shape of a circle, similar to the story of the dot. And then you don't have to do a circle, so you can think of a design of your own. You could even do an animal. Here's another circle. Notice that they have repeating patterns. Here's a different kind of design using color. And then in this circle, it actually shows you how they sectioned off the different parts and then added designs to each part. You could do a different shape, like a heart, or you could do circles that are stacked on top and then put different patterns. You could even do your hand. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do. Okay, the second step is to draw an outline. So your outline is going to be what you want your final piece to look like. So I already came up with one that I made just quickly of different hearts that are overlapping. And so my idea was to then fill each of these spaces with my Zentangle designs. And that is what I will do next week on a separate piece of paper. So uh, hopefully you got some ideas from the examples and all you're gonna do is you only need to do one, draw a rectangle or a square or the shape that your paper is. And then you're going to make your design. So maybe you want to do a circle and that's fine. 
But then think about it. How would you divide your circle to make the different designs? Are you going to cut it into like a pie? Are you going to do some kind of a swirl? Okay, are you going to do several different spaces so that each space gets a different design? So be thinking about what you want your design to look like. So here's a different example. Okay, all right, I hope that you have fun coming up with different designs for your project for next week.